for this session of an introduction to mobile devices. Our main objectives is going to be to be able to identify mobile devices and explain what qualifies them as mobile devices. Can anybody tell me what they consider is a mobile device? Be small, portable computing device, really, that isn't a laptop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, Billy. Slow down. <laughs> Why wouldn't a laptop be a, a, uh, a mobile device? Not pocket size? Is it is a mobile device something that's like only pocket size? I'm not, I'm not aware of that. I'm not aware of that. It's like portable. Well, then uh, would a a uh, what is it? The iPad Pro or the Windows uh, device that they have nowadays, which is basically. A, a computer, no? So they're all, the most key thing is most of these things have, uh, uh, like you say, mobility and may fit in your pocket. Um, one is like these Android phones, right? You have the iPhone, you have uh, many different, even I think, what is it, Nikon cameras. There's a whole bunch of- Blackberry. Blackberries, a plethora of features that are out there. One thing, obviously, that it is mobile, and a lot of them also bring their own carrier, right? We need to be able to describe the characteristics of common mobile devices that we see out there, compare and contrast the software platforms, capabilities, accessories of mobile ports, and describe the roles of mobile devices within today's society. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, say handle. It is a computer. We all recognize that the majority of these things are a computer. Be that it is, if it's being used as a phone and or any applications that it has in there, it's no longer just a phone. Most of these things that we carry around in our pockets are an actual computer who has an application to be able to allow us to dial. We all agree on that? compared to the old mobile phones, which was just reach out and touch someone. So, who can help me out here with the definition? Christina, can you help me out with the first one here? Uh, what is a mobile device definition? A mobile device is a small, portable, electronic device that enables computing. As mobile devices have improved in capability, their use and need for technical support has increased. Mobile devices use one of three software platforms, iOS, Android, and Windows Mobile. Examples of mobile devices. In the recent past, and mobile, a mobile device was simply referring to a laptop or notebook, then included PDAs and tablets. Today, there are so many mobile devices with so many capabilities, it's hard to keep up. The following is a list that will be discussed. Tablets, smartphones, wearable technology devices, e-readers, smart cameras, GPS. All right. As we see, <clears throat> the first and most, believe it or not, mobile devices, your laptop and notebooks. Then you had your PDAs and tablets that came out after. So I understand that in this little chapter, we're only going to be covering these, but just fair warning. A mobile device is anything that can be mobile. So a laptop is, therefore, by default, a mobile device. That makes sense or no? Yeah. All right. Cool. Next slide. We have here uh, Daniel. Yeah. So um, early versions of the tablet weren't anything like a computer, as they were promptary. Now they qualify as a mobile device due to their technology changing to be more like a computer. Features include most run on one of these three OSs, Android, iOS, or Windows 
Size can vary in size, but stay larger than a cell phone and smaller than a laptop, typically between seven to 13 inches. Cameras, relatively low in cost compared to a laptop, handwriting recognition, GPS, solid state hard drives, Wi-Fi and sometimes cellular support, touch screen, and examples will be Microsoft Surface with an attachable keyboard. Mm -hmm. Even now the new Microsoft Surface uh as a, a computer version of it. <clears throat> well, actually all Microsoft Surface, you can actually get it where it is fully a computer. You can get the cheap version, which has the, just like an iPad kind of thing, or you can get the full version, which has everything and you can attach that uh, keyboard as you see, attachable keyboard that they're talking about. So uh, that is, that's why I was fair warning in reference to saying that it's not a laptop is not a mobile device. Continue with our tablets evolution on the next slide. We'll see here basically from 1972 up to now. Jesus, before I was even born. All these little suckers were available. There's a plethora of tablets that have been going on since way back when. Obviously, they were horrible in the days of the, was, I think that's a Dynabook, the Apple graphics tablet. Those things were not that as what we have now. Any questions? Surprised they don't have, well, I guess it's not a tablet. There was one that was from, I forgot who it was, that looked like a little computer. And matter of fact, it was, it had Windows uh, in it. It was a little, uh, little device that you open and close. I forgot the name of it. It was blue. But it was uh, that one I always liked. Next slide. You can help us out here. Jordan. This is the correct side. I'm sorry. Uh, smartphones. Avin OS or either iOS, Android, or Windows phones. Have an on screen keyboard to input data and physical buttons for menu and to go back. Most have motion sensors used to turn off an alarm or quiet call. Use one or more SIM cards to hold data related to a cellular, cellular carrier. Some have an SD card slot for extra storage capacity. Yeah, these are uh, obviously the modern ones because they used to be a brick. Anybody remember the brick? Yeah. I have a question. Uh, you don't need a SIM card to get settler. You can use radio, correct? Rephrase the question. I'm sorry, or or restate the question. You broke um, so it. for smartphones, um, you don't really need a SIM card for certain devices. They use radio instead. Is that still true? Radio instead. I'm not aware of any other new. Cellular phones not requiring a SIM card. So I had a smartphone a long time ago, HTC, that did not take SIMs. It just has a radio frequency that kind of like the older phones, I guess. Yeah, if we go, if we go to, to the next slide on slide nine, I agree with you. The old phones, you'll see here, you have the Motorola's, the Nokia's, the Acatel's, the Samsung's, all the way up to pretty much... I think it's up to the iPhone there is where the SIM cards started coming out. But today, nowadays, all phones use SIMs and that's easier, right? I think my favorite was the Nokia 3210. I, I believe satellite phones, I'm not sure if they use a SIM card. That's why I can, I'm doubtful on telling you that, I, yes, all of them use it. And second, you don't need a SIM card per se if you're going to go and create a call over the internet. Mm, that's true. So it all depends on on how you're using this phone. But if you want service from a provider like AT and T, Sprint, uh, obviously there's Orange out in Latin America or other providers throughout uh, cable and wireless in in Latin America. Also, they provide wireless. You need a SIM card to be able to identify yourself to them. We'll, we'll learn that. I'm not sure if it's in this chapter or not what a SIM card is. And we will learn also in reference to the two 
uh, numbers. There's the IMEI and the I uh, International Mobile Sim something. There's a there's one that has the I E S I I think and I E M I. I don't don't quote, quote me on those. There's one that has to do with the SIM card and one that has to do with the actual phone. And those are the serial numbers or MAC addresses uh, that they they use to be able to relate one with another. International equivalent mobile identification identification yeah. or something. I know that's on the Mike Myers on the mobile device. So I think maybe this chapter or the next one you said. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure they cover it. They don't have the psychic phone in that picture. <laughs> I, <can. laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. Next slide, number 10. I'm not sure who was the last person to read there, but we'll go with Teresa. Yeah. Okay. Wearable, um, wearable technology devices, smartwatches. Uses Bluetooth technology to pair with a smartphone for the purpose of answering calls, receiving, replying to text messages, and other linked features depending on the watch. The main manufacturers are Apple, People, Sorry, Tag, Samsung, Fitbit. Each technology has a propriety OS. The most common are Android, where people OS and watch OS from Apple. Mm -hmm. Additional apps are available through the manufacturer's website. Common features, GPS features, anti-loss alert, time display, vibration alerts. Some have micro USB input ports. Thank you. Any questions or doubts on this slide for the wearable smartwatches? Anybody ever see Dick Tracy? We used I to have. Laugh. We used to laugh back in the days when they when that movie came out, uh, and, and they even tried to put it in color and stuff, and see a guy talking to his watch. Yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. So now here we are. <laughs> Next slide, slide ten. Well, 11, sorry. Uh, Justin. Uh, um, wearable technology devices, fitness monitor description. While smartwatches have many apps for fitness monitoring, this wearable technology specializes in tracking users' movements. Wireless technology communicates trackers Communi yeah, communicate trackers information to an application on a computer or a smartphone. The wrist strap holds sensors, ready boot, uh, reads body temperatures, GPS tracking for determining distance, monitors heart rate, blood pressure. Some have additional chest straps. Many manufacturers of this device, most popular is Fitbit, Adidas, Nike, Polar, and Microsoft. Okay. Any questions on this slide? Reference to the fitness monitors? Doubts? All right. Next slide. Not sure if you guys have seen these things, but these uh, wearable technologies are, have gotten smaller and smaller. Obviously, we have the little pods now for, uh, I think, uh, Samsung, and we have the ones for Apple. I don't know the names. I'm not that hip. But I know there's little guys available now. And the same thing with glasses. You've got to be very careful where Google Glass and other providers now uh, allow them to record. Well, they'll be recording from their glasses themselves. Any questions or doubts on these new spyware? I have a quick question about something on the book. So the those Google Glasses will be an example of AR. Um, what is it? AR stands for? 
alternate no augment reality oh yeah augmented reality you're talking about yeah because yeah, I, I want to know the difference because i know vr is different from that augmented reality would be then where i believe when you're recording a real place where virtual reality would be a virtual place if i recall correctly what those two words mean I thought in words, a when you're walking in the real world and they basically you 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 put on this the other device right and when you're looking at it it's like if you're in the street if you're in paris walking along the streets of paris virtual while virtual reality is when you're in 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 the middle of a halo fight and you think that you're holding the gun and you're seeing yourself holding all these things it still seems so similar though. Uh, one's based on the reality of reality while the other one's a virtually virtual. Augmented reality. is like Pokemon um, Go. Exactly. There you go. What's Pokemon you, Go? This <laughs> is where you're in a place, I right? I know Pokemon. And, and well, Pokemon Go is the one where you need to be somewhere to be able to go and catch the little beast or the, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I mean, I just, yeah, you're there in person, but it adds stuff that is not real into like that. That. You, to that. Wait, you mean like it's an actual, like... Like I you're at the park, wherever you're at the park, the it, adds, it adds a Pokemon in front of you. So I have to get up to play the, to play the yeah, game? Yeah, for it to get... Yeah, yeah, that's what... I don't know if you saw it in the news. There was a whole bunch of problems because of this game. People were literally almost walking into the middle of the streets well, they did. They walked into the middle <laughs> because they were they were paying attention to the game. People died. I mean, yeah. that happened to me when I played the Game Boy. No, no, but this one required you to be. So it's, I understand what you're saying, but this one it was you. You had to walk somewhere so you can see yourself walking to this place. So you're physically interacting. You had to move. So it was geo geo location is being used. So your geolocation of where your phone is interacts with the game. I confused. <laughs> this is something like futuristic that I'm not even aware of. I love Pokemon. I play Pokemon, but I I don't understand this. You get up the chair and you have you to walk around move. the world, the real world, and no matter where you are in the world, there will be different Pokemons depending where you go in the world. So, yeah, like. Like for example, the people to go to parks, different places. Like, like FIU used to be a hot spot for the Pokemon, so everybody would go there, and then like you just walk around and find Pokemon's in your iPhone. That's oh. yeah. It's just like I'm gonna, a I'm gonna look it up on YouTube because I have to like see an actual example because what I'm thinking in my head is a Game Boy running around. <laughs> I mean, I love Pokemon. I still have, oh, I had my Game Boy. It broke down. Missed that thing. It's exactly like the Game Boy, but think about it like when, like when, when you find a Pokemon, you just. This you is know, right. matter of fact, it's exactly the same thing as the Game Boy. You know how you have to walk around to be able to run into to little uh, Pokemon and capture them and all that stuff. Yeah, you move in the game but, to get there. Okay, but you can't move in this game. There's no up or there's no uh, crosshairs to move yeah. you up or left or right. You physically got to get up and move. Yeah, you are your GPS. Oh. You, are, so you, you are, are the character. You are the character. Okay, yeah. I get a better idea how it works now. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, but well, I'm going to walk in the middle of the streets now, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. With this virus thing going on, no, no. I stay put. The, the, I can catch that whatever it is later, okay? Give myself a metapod. You know, I have a question, actually. For, like, I was looking somewhere, like, a long time ago. I think oh. it was like, an interview with some guy. Mm -hmm. and it was talking about, like, 4G and 5G, like, the difference between, like, the technology and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's differentiating, like, 4G as, a, like, having the platform and having, like, the network separate and then like he was explaining having um like 5g would be like having the platform and the network together as one so that'd be the main difference so in a sense would be like like right now you have uber you have to pull up your phone and then like look through the app and then do the whole thing and then boom but like with 5g he was saying like you just walk outside and say 
Siri called me an Uber and then Uber comes. So it's like integrated with the reality as well. I'm not aware of 5G is in reference to the actual new digital system for, it's the fifth generation. That's what 5G stands for. Uh, I know that it can, it can support much more devices per square kilometer and it's obviously much faster. Uh, I think it, uh, 5G can su uh, support up to around 1 million devices, whereas the 4G, I think it's only up to four or 5,000 devices that it can support in a given area. So uh, that I'm aware of, because it's in reference to communications in the spectrum of, of also the speed itself is much faster. But as for it providing this technology, I think that would be more in reference uh, to the app itself or the phone, how smart the phone is to be able to deliver that type of service. I don't, I don't see how explain the technology of it saying like the main difference would be like the, that it, instead of being a platform and a network you'll be like together like he's explaining that's what tripped me out because well yeah gonna... because it's because it's much because in reference to the responsive and the real response and flash lo loading and instant views you're going to get that because it's much faster i've heard of that in other words like you said get me uber or whatever it's so quick compared to how it was before that it, it can actually, the phone will call up the app and do what you're asking. That's what you're, you're saying. So it's oh, like right. real time responsive, even in gaming itself, people are loving it because uh, prior to that, the FPS was so slow compared to what they're getting now. Uh, it's, it's much higher. Right, right, right. No, the only thing that tripped me out because he was like explaining it. He was just saying that like eventually it will be like an augmented yeah, because, reality. Oh, like you're saying, you have that true chat now that's available too, right? Where you see the Apple phones that that you can kind of see them thinking that they're typing. That's all because of the five G. Maybe that's what he's trying to explain to you. You know how you how how now that there's like a chatting ways that you kind of see really. Like what they're about to type it has like a little bubble or something i don't know what i understood like from that from what that guy was saying he was literally saying that like it's like revolutionary like, it is a, in that in the, in that terms because of of uh, the the instant view the real response and the flash loading all this bandwidth now that we have and capabilities in that technology that that we didn't have before yeah, he was saying that like a lot of things would be integrated with like humans yeah i'm not letting them touch me you can keep that <laughs> all right the whole thing with bill gates i'm getting let's not get into it <laughs> yeah i'm not letting them put any chips in me i'm not letting them do anything i don't need anything oh no don't but, remind me of that i had a project related to that where companies are forcing employees to wear them just to get into the building well you know yeah. you're doing that now you're, you're doing that now don't get you don't get me wrong you have to wear an id which has a chip on it. I got no problem with that. You're not going to inject the chip in me, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm referring to. I had a nah. project with that. I was like, no, yeah. no. And it has GPS. They, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the issue. They, they say exactly it's a like GPS, are. but there is a GPS. Well, they do that with the, the military now. The military, all of them are wearing a chip. You'll be able to find them in the field. Anyways, let's get into uh, back into our little thing now that we're in a tangent. We might as go into a little break because we just blabbed on into it. Uh, I'm going to find that video. All right. So, uh, Alexa, you can re help us out. Read about. No, that was going to be mean that I shouldn't even mention that there is a reader under your name, I think. Alexa, you back. Alexa? Okay, Justin. Fine, you're back. All right. Um, other mobile devices, e-readers. The Kindle was the first of this type, quickly by the or followed quickly by the Nook. Their main job it was as a reading device, but has quickly turned into a tablet subs 
substitute. They have browsers for the internet, through wireless connections, apps that can be downloaded, and an OS like a smart device. Thank you. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these little puppies. They're pretty good for the people that just want to do that. Only go out to the internet and or read books on them. They're very portable and small and very uh, useful for that. Next area here, uh, let's go with Daniel. Mm. Teresa? Okay. Okay, other mobile devices, smart cameras, cameras that can extract information from the images they take and they make decisions based on what is extracted. Robot, robot guidance, biometric recognition, and code reading verifications are features that make this a mobile device. GPS, the Global Position System, is a satellite-based navigation system that provides location and time services. The most common uses for navigation. It provides your current position by a process in the receiver called triangulation, communication with three different satellites to obtain the distance to each satellite. Okay. Other uses, other uses include tracking, law enforcement to monitor inmates or to locate other persons that is sharing their position. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys know uh, about the GPS technology. That's basically what's inside your actual phone. You guys know how it does it by triangulating your, your actual position? I mean, now I do. <laughs> well, that's what it means by triangulating is because of the three different uh, satellites that it uses, it actually bounces and knows the position of the actual satellite. So based on, on knowing that factor of where the satellite is, the three of them, and the time that it takes for it to go and come back, it can now triangulate exactly where you are in the world. So he spits out a message, hey, where am I, kind of thing. When he yells out, it's like in the mountains, you hear the echo? Or just like thunder. I know you guys know about thunder, right? You count how many seconds uh, after the, the lightning hits, and you, you hear the thunder, that's how far the lightning actually hit. It takes, every second is a mile. So it's a little tidbit, again, of useless information. GPS does this based, based on that, those factors. There's actually 24 out there throughout the world. I don't know if you guys are fully aware of that factor. Around the world, there's actually uh, 24 of them that are positioned and ready to go. And there's about, I don't know if it's eight or what, I think it's four or eight that are in, in, in a given area to make sure that there's a backup of, or in other words, yes, yeah, that's what it is, six, six by four. They're centered in, in around the world and there's uh, four in any given area, I think it is. Any questions, doubts? Next slide. Uh, Lazaro, can you help us out here with 15? Okay. Common characteristics along mobile devices. One out of three. Screen technology. Mobile devices use a varies of screen types. Most tablets use some type of LCD panel. The less expensive use twisted Namet and T. The better one used in panel switching IPS for richer color and better viewing angles. The latest smartphones use OLEDs, which provide light for the screen via an organic compound. Nowadays, all mobile device screens are touch screens. There are two types of touch screen technology. The sensitive touch screens use an older device. They require cryptography carburation of the screen so the systems know exactly where it's being touched. Competitive touchscreens. Using today's devices are more sensitive to the touch and don't require any type of ongoing cover. 
collaboration. Thank you. So yeah, so um, <clears throat> on the old screens, what would happen is uh, for the resistive touch, resistive touch means that it actually, the, the resistance that's coming in is what it's, it, it uses. And on the older ones, you require to then calibrate it. So it'll give you a little X. I'm not sure if you've seen it, little X here, then another X on the upper right-hand corner, then one all the way down here for you to hit with the pencil, whatever device you've given, and then eventually goes towards the center. That's to calibrate the screen so it knows exactly where is the upper left hand, where is this section, where is the action. It must be calibrated. If you don't, it will eventually, uh, obviously, start giving you problems. As for the capacitive, that capacitive touch screens nowadays are obviously much more sensitive and do not require this because they have their usually their own ongoing uh, cal uh, ca uh, calibration. There goes the word calibration going on. Question, doubts. Next one, uh, Jordan. I said I was going to do it. Oh, Teresa. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Teresa. Okay. Common characteristics among mobile devices, cameras. Many mobile devices have two cameras, a front facing and a rear facing. Modern smartphone camera features include a high dynamic range, light composition, and editing of the pictures. Microphones. Almost all mobile devices incorporate a microphone. It is used not only to speak, but also to dictate speech or record other sounds. GPS. Major feature of mobile devices is the ability to track the device location through GPS. Users rely on location services to know the exact position. Find things near them or finding their mobile devices when they are missing. Thank you. Any questions or doubts on the common characteristics of the camera, microphones, and or GPS? All right. So, next slide then. There's no questions on uh, slide 17. We'll go with Jordan. I think it was what I was calling earlier. Internal storage. Most mobile devices use solid state drives for storage of data and instructions. The most common is the EMMIC or EAM, is that EMMC? Because e it's lower. EMMC, that's right. Okay because it's a lower power consumption and uh, its ability to be integrated into the board. Expandable memory. Some mobile devices have an external slot for memory cards, usually micro SD. The most popular mobile devices with this feature are the Android devices. Thank you. Any questions or doubts on the internal storage or the expandable memory? We sure? I guess you guys are probably familiar with these things. The everyday use. Yeah. We now understand where it's being used. I think we learned about the solid state drives and we learned about the EMMC. So this is really where this puppy si uh, pre pretty much shines is in these little units. Instead of having uh, uh, the big hard drives, they actually have either a solid state or an most of the new ones have the EMMCs instead. Next slide. All right, so can we yell out here what is and is not? So iPhone, is that a mobile device? Yes. Yep. Are you sure? It sounds so sure. Yes. Back. Thank you. Woo I get it. I got people talking. Yes. Yeah. Next one, GPS <laughs> system. Is that a mobile device? Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Uh, the third one, Nikon camera. Is that a mobile device? Yes. yes. It's a camera. It's a mobile device. Yeah. Is it? Yes. Why would it be? Because Why would an icon camera be a mobile device? Some cameras have uh, Wi-Fi built in them and also Bluetooth. Let me show you. 
You're, so you're telling me that if I go and buy the, any Nikon camera, no matter which one it is, it is a mobile device. Yes. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. Like not not every camera, but that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. So we have to be careful. Oh, they haven't Wi-Fi. given us a specific model, have they? That's what I said. It could be like other. Yeah, yeah exactly. They didn't give you a specific model. Mm-mm. They didn't tell us a, 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 a specific model in this case. They just told us a Nikon camera, plain old Nikon camera. Didn't tell me it had any new or the greatest features or the, like this one here is what they're telling me. Next one's what? A Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. That's pretty specific, uh, specific what they're talking about there. Is that a mobile device? I don't even know what device that is. The Galaxy Tab? It's a tablet. For real? I have no idea what a, ga- a Galaxy Tab is. Is it a tablet? Oh, you just hurt the feelings, man. And if anything, you made iPad so happy, you have no idea what a Galaxy Tab is. <laughs> I mean, I hate how these anal- like people put the word TAB and companies do that. Like, if you mean tablet, then I know what it is. But come on, yeah, this is a second. This is a Galaxy Tab. Is the Samsung's version of the iPad? Okay, then I know what it is. Like, I just hate those name managers. Like, please, just don't give me the name like T B A A S S A A, and you expect me to know what that is, and everybody knows what that is. Hey, that's how it is. No, just Gotta tell learn. the name English. It exists for a reason. Like, um, like a short version. Okay. No, I think I'm, I think you, 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 uh, I'm starting to rub off on you guys. <laughs> <It's happening. laughs> uh, <laughs> Next one. So the tablet is. I'm sorry. Is the tablet is it or is it not a mobile device? Yeah. Yeah, it's a mobile. Yes. Device. Okay. The Amazon uh, Kindle Fire. Yes. Yeah. iPad without. Cellular function. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. PlayStation Four. Mm. No, that's no. Not- no, no, it's not a mobile device. Okay, next one. BlackBerry Passport. What is that? Huh? Like a mobile device. <laughs> Nobody's seen a BlackBerry for real. I know it's what a, a black a blackberry. What's what a passport? passport. Oh, yeah. That's a model. Is it like model a blackberry black passport? passport? Like literally, there's a a blackberry yes. in the passport. Yeah, it's a blackberry passport. It's a model. So the blackberry yeah. passport. Here he is. He's big, and he looks like a passport because that's how big the. Thing is. Oh, they still making blackberries? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. That should just come out the easier. Here he is. Did you guys see that? Look how big that. I never liked the BlackBerry when whenever the iPhone came out and the Android. I really won't pay for for these things because they're not true. Definitely looks like a BlackBerry. No, yeah. were bad. They were good like only Kindle. for work. They were great for work. I'll tell you that much because these things uh, for for installing all those applications that you wanted and it was secure compared to all the aftermarket stuff that you have to install on these mobile phones nowadays. I didn't have to install anything extra. The The phone with the provider would, would go on to the BlackBerry server and it connect me to my internal network, uh, files, email, everything that was internal for the company. Versus now you got to ha- install some other stuff in there. Next one, iPod Shuffle. Yeah, that's mobile. An it's iPod? mobile. I have not heard that in years. <laughs> that's like middle school. <laughs> the iPod Shuffle, look. look at I don't it. know what it is. Just I haven't heard, haven't heard that's about not that. a mobile device. Look at it. There's no computing. Pro- uh, those, those were the play. days. Those were, those you you the only days. dump you only dump oh. music on it, and that's it. It wasn't. It didn't have a screen nor two gigs was enough. Wi-Fi or anything like that. Apple Watch is that a wait? I, I yeah, Apple Watch is mobile. Talking, so I didn't get the answer for iPod Shuffle. Here's this picture. Can you see my screen still? Am I sharing my yes. screen? All right. Here's it's a, not a mobile device. Shuffle. That's the iPod Shuffle right here. That's not a mobile device. No, it's not. It was to me. No, because you can't go on the internet with it, and the only way you can get information is it, is if you connect it to and and dump music onto it. There's no 
there's no GUI. Now, there is an iPod, uh, what's that called? The iPod, uh, is it the Nano? I think so, the big screen. There's one that, yeah, the, there's one with a big, uh, with touch. I touch, yeah, there we go. iPod touch or something like that. That was the greatest. Now, this is a mobile device. This has Wi Fi, everything except for a regular landline. You can install Google Phone or any other internet phone on this. Like, uh, what is it? WhatsApp. Uh, I can't remember all these things you guys use nowadays, but you can install anything. And this is basically almost a phone. Everything except for the phone. So this is the smallest version of an iPad, you can say. So you got to be able to recognize these names, believe it or not, and know what is what. And there's pl there's a plethora. It's only 50 bucks, guys. Only a, There's a plethora of uh, devices out there, and we got to realize what's what. Apple Watch. Yeah. Yes. Okay. A telescope. Yeah, telescope. No. <laughs> telescope. That'll be interesting, right? Well, right. No, obviously that's not. That's just a normal telescope with a little lens. Doesn't have anything in there. All right. So last in this area, now we have a question: Which mobile OS does your phone use? Microwaves. <laughs> 